franktalks.com Welcome to Frank Talks People of the Week segment. I'm Zoltan King. This week's person of the week is Ted Wright. Born in Toronto, Ted Wright of the Westmount Legal Clinic was schooled both in Ontario and at our own Montreal Concordia University. Before he would be introduced to what would be his life's dedication, he did a hodgepodge of jobs ranging from extracurricular activities coordinator at a local college to being one of the original members of the Tandem Montreal anti-crime operation. It's during his last job in film that he would be introduced to helping the less fortunate and people on the margins of our society. This is his story. And I worked in film till about 1987 and one day I'm talking on the phone with Arnold Bennett from the housing hotline and I asked him some questions and I was making a load of money then and he suddenly let out a big sigh and I said I've got one day off a week I can donate one day to you and then he said how about a morning and an afternoon so I did that so essentially for one year I worked for him free of charge doing this kind of stuff learning rental law like doing it over the phone working on Saturday for nothing and I mean, the other people were getting paid, and I said, ah, what the hell, it's Saturday, I'll do it, I don't care. And then uh, he went away on vacation, so I had really nothing to do, and I said, Arnold, you're going away, whatever you need done for three weeks, I'll do it, I'm not doing anything at all. And eventually I did it so well, he said, you want to be my assistant? So then I got on City of Montreal payroll. And then after that, we're talking maybe 1995, 1996, friends of mine started this legal clinic. And I was sort of at rough ends. I was always doing photography, doing a little of this and all that. I said, ah, Wednesday afternoon, I'll do nothing. I'll come here just because I'll kill time. And uh, then they decided after about two months, uh, one guy got a job managing like five or 600 units. That's Bob Jones. He's very, very good in rental law, I taught him, but he's the only person that I ever taught that I'll actually listen to really carefully, because he's that good. And uh, Francine Poirier, she decided to run for city council in Ville saint -Laurent. So they left here, and then all of a sudden, for me doing nothing, all of a sudden this thing was thrown into my lap. And so I decided to do this, and right at this moment, there's anywhere, anywhere up to eight or nine people that volunteer. Anything that people want to bring in here, we can give people guidance generally. And if, if, it, if we have to refer to specific lawyers because things are quite specific sometimes, we refer to them. And what happens is that people come here and instead of spending $150 to talk to me, talk to the lawyers, they give a donation. And when I say donation, sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes it's $2, sometimes it's $10. If, if everybody gave 20 this place would be guaranteed to be in the black because um, I don't take a salary for being here, Mike doesn't take a salary, we donate our time and essentially it comes out to billable hours of $2,000 easily. And so maybe we'll get $40, $50 out of this. I was going to be a priest by the way, but then, but then you know like I like women and, and I didn't agree with everything in the church so you can't. But I still help people because I think that's one of the things that we should do in life, even if it's not our main thing, we should help people. Because mm -hmm. there's so many people that, uh, people who have greater intelligence should help people. People who have greater abilities should help. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there who, they get from point A to B, and even that's rocky. Wright is the first to admit that it's hard to make ends meet, and his lifestyle reflects his giving nature. But what does he get out of all the hard work he does? I get a feeling that my life is worth something. That's I, that's the main thing and it just, it gets me from point A to B because my life is actually worth something. I'm not into self-aggrandizement. I'm not into things that harm other people because often, not all the time, when the more wealth you accumulate, the more you end up hurting other people because you have to get that money from somewhere and if you're cheating them to get the money, you're hurting them. No, I, I don't have any plans. I have no plans whatsoever because this is, my life is my life. Reflecting his professional outlook on life, I asked him what kind of message would he have for others? Try to do no ill to other people. That's what it is. It's like, because, uh, I, like, I have bad moods. I just walk away from people. Mo not all the time. If they're really pushy, I'll go after them too, but, but most of the time I'll just walk away. 
Why do I want to fight with people? This was Frank Talks People of the Week segment. I'm Zoltan King. Be well. From Loser to Seducer is the story of Frank B. Kerman. This book marks the triumph of a nice guy over most of his inner demons. This includes going from being a loser to managing five lovers at the same time, his first Valentine's Day with two women at the same time, and getting back the one that got away. Want to learn how you can change your life? Buy this book at franktalks.com. with love, sex, dating, or relationship issues? Help from Frank Kermit, the best-selling author and Canada's most international relationship coach, is only a click away at franktalks.com. What do you do when you feel like a fool? When your heart has been broken again Pick up the phone or get onto Skype And talk on a private session Yeah, get a little help from Frank Talks Whoa, whoa, get by with a little help from Frank Talks You gotta try To turn things around Just sign up at franktalks.com Yeah, get by with help from Frank Talks Mmm, I get by with a little help from Frank Talks Mmm, time to try a little help from Frank Talks Great going around. We're certain, just read the reviews. Frank loves his stuff and Frank several goods. Good love can soon come to you.